Six months ago, we set out to transform a Mercedes Sprinter into our very own Golf Tour Bus, which you will have seen in some of the recent videos. And we thought you might like to see how we transform this into this. Oh, and a word of warning, there is no golf featured in this video. everyone me and Pan have just got back from our morning walk and now we're just gonna sit in the garden and have a cup of tea but today is a super exciting day it's been about a month maybe even over a month since we've last filmed or really done anything on the van uh, but today we're back to it a full day uh, trying to get back into the swing of things I suppose um, my dad's currently having his second vaccine, which is also really exciting. Um, so I think me and Pan will just sit in the garden, finish my cup of tea, and then I think I'll start unloading the van, ready to get started. No day starts without pulling up our fence to keep the little Rottweiler in check. Otherwise she'd be out chasing bikes and postmen and whatever else she can get her hands on. No. No. It's happening. It's happening. It's a good start to the video. So the van is empty and one of the biggest problems that we have is we don't have a garage so every time we start we have to empty everything out and then when we're finished put everything back in again. It is a pain. But we thought we'd explain why it's been uh, a month since we've well, done anything really isn't it? Yeah we've drawn to a stop. I went to work away for sort of the uh, best part of four or five weeks and that and the fact that we got a little bit stuck I suppose or fearful on the electric side of things and uh, or, or not, not just how to do it, but what we were going to use in terms of uh, our batteries and all the rest of it. And hopefully that gets sorted out later today. We've got a delivery coming, but for now it's a bit of a um, pick up where we left off, uh, finish some jobs off, the insulation, the kind of uh, the foil line, and those kind of things have got to be done, haven't they? Yeah, insulation, put the rest of the struts up, in. yeah, um, foam boards, yeah. It's just finishing off where we're at, isn't it? Finishing yeah. off that insulation bit that you've, uh, you've, you've seen us doing that so far. It's it's basically the boring bit, to be honest with you, and the hardest bit to get uh, past. But uh, we'll, we'll kick that off again this morning. Isn't it? And it's a gorgeous day to do it. Do you know what? It's almost like starting all over again. I know we've been away for a few weeks, so that uh, doesn't make life any easier. But like all these jobs, you have to kind of have them all ongoing at the same time so, so it's not like it's stage one stage two stage three all these bits have to be done together so we said about the insulation being finished off which hands doing but we're now running cables in as well at the same time so it's kind of so many different pieces going on and this is the for me anyway i think well i think for both of us 
this is the scariest bit putting the electrics in so fingers crossed but we're feeding the cables in for now Hannah's carrying on with the insulation we've just marked the floor out as well to give us a better idea we've had to agree and finalize on a layout so that we can agree where to put these uh, electrics or this wiring to it's stressful stuff you know if you've been watching the last few clips how come I'm the one doing all the graft I've just had second jab in the arm and and someone else is kind of like lying back research I'm grafting here sweating what are we researching gas bottles gas bottles what like si size of gas bottle that's the next thing we need to plan for clueless oh it's a bit of relief you know to get the first it's almost like you just keep stop start and don't want to lay that first cable in but i bit the bullet we've done it our kind of spotlights or puck lights as you call them are um i hope anyway is uh fairly straightforward in terms of that circuit to put in back to where our um electrical units which is going down in there first strand of cable is fed back so i'm now going to feed something to the fan and we've got some electrical points to put in but it just feels such a relief to kind of break the mold and and get cracking on with it maybe it's just me but i think every i have watched a lot of videos it tends to be the electric scare most people to death and it's uh i'm definitely in that camp we've only laid a bit of camp yeah a little bit of cable so when we switch everything on that's a different story it'd be so good to see some like them Bed that I Are you here. still doing research? And much more. Anything that you see in this video is documented yeah. on the channel. So if you enjoy this and you want to go see on. more of this band doing, research. go ahead and yeah. slap that subscribe button below. Before we get started, quick shout out keys, to you know, all the yeah. out there. It's our, our next, next project. We haven't finished the uh, insulation <laughs> yet. Uh, some good news we've got Hannah Hannah stopped uh, on the research she's uh, working we've got a new member of the team joining in uh, do you want to introduce yourself Henry Millard Henry Millard cousin of Hannah nephew of mine what are we doing Hen? Uh, putting the wool in the wall putting the wool in the wall yep make okay. sure you keep warm good man keep up the good work Right in where it's she's getting absolutely covered in it. Ben, Ben! What are you doing down there? Why have you got snow on you? Why are you standing there? Ow. Why are you standing there? Finishing off all our uh, jobs that we mentioned yesterday. Finishing the insulation. Um, well, I'll show you what we've done so far. Finished putting the what do you call reflectix. Yep. Reflectix in. We managed to get some wires put up. Ended up having quite a good day in the yeah, end, didn't we? Really. Yeah, we're back on it. Back again, hopefully get it all done. Oh, it is a flat. Oops. Update. This side's nearly finished. The, the, the update is industrial injury. Don't ever go near uh, silver. Don't bite silver foil tape to uh, to make a tear in it. But it's stuck to the inside of my lip and has tore off my skin off getting it off. Nearly where it's an A and A. We well, really was an A and E. Wow, perfect. snug. Snug? I think that's one of your cuts there. I don't think it is. That's definitely you. Nope. That is perfectly straight. I'm having to cut into that. <coughs> Did I say do it as wonky as you possibly can or? That's not mine. Being good, Pen? No. No. We are flying right now, aren't we? Flying. I better concentrate because I got the last measurement completely wrong. Didn't I? Completely. Completely. Only by about 10 mil. Wasn't it? It's 
time for a glass of wine. We've uh, had to call it a day. Uh, we've run out, or I've run out of uh, self-tapping screws. So I have to get to B&Q in the morning and sort that uh, issue out and hopefully get back on this again at the weekend. Kind of half a day today, we're trying to fit this around our day job. And one of the things about this is it's uh, so nice to be able to work on a project with, uh, with your daughter. And uh, I really do appreciate the uh, the, the opportunity to be able to do that with her. We work on a daily basis together, which is really nice as well on our sort of real jobs, if you like. Uh, but what I would ask is that if uh, if you've liked what you've watched so far, and hopefully the whole thing will uh, improve along the way, then uh, please consider supporting by subscribing and uh, hit that like button and maybe leave us some comments and that feedback. It'd be much appreciated.